We are following breaking news to our studios. One person has been taken to the hospital after being shot at a Stripe store on Ayers in Tarleton. 3 News reporter Jalissa Garza joins us live with the latest. Jalissa. Hey there, John Thomas. Well, we don't have much information right now, but you can go ahead and take a look at the scene behind me. Still a very active scene. At least eight police cars still present here trying to put all the pieces together. We did have a chance to speak with an officer, but we didn't get much information. This is what they let us know as of right now. One person was shot and has a minor injury. They were taken to a hospital just as a precaution, according to police. Now, police are looking for the suspect accused of shooting into the store. And when you look closely at the glass door, you can kind of see that bullet hole. But again, you've got to look very closely. Now, according to police, there were three people inside the store at the time, and this happened around 515 this morning. Uh, it seems to be that a lot of people are shaken up from where we are across the street. You can hear people talking a little bit of emotion going on over there, but Again, not much information, still working to put the pieces together. And as we learn more throughout the rest of the morning out here, we'll be sure to keep you updated. And if you do come to this Valero Stripes location in the morning as part of your morning commute, you may want to take a different route or find another gas station. And if you live in the nearby neighborhoods, you may have heard this this morning, but it didn't happen in any of the neighborhoods. It was right here at this Valero and Stripes on airs. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and toss it back to you, John Thomas. And that's right. I heard the police say something to the effect of it was just an echo that was heard throughout the night. So just one sh one area that shooting took place. Uh, Jalissa, thank you. We'll be checking back in with you uh, a little bit later on the story for any updates. Um, as of now, you can download our app to follow the latest news, sports and weather, and especially breaking news alerts.